Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create some chat UI elements uh, using Figma. Now, this is part of a series of videos in which we're creating an entire design system from scratch. Uh, so feel free to check out the playlist uh, of uh, the other videos, but uh, you can also follow along uh, from uh, this one video with uh, no problems. So let's uh, go ahead and the very first thing that we're gonna leverage is we're going to use this spoiler template. And by the way, I'm going to leave the link uh, of uh, this uh, file um, so you're going to be able to have it for free and uh, the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to um, basically put uh, um, a rectangle down so we're going to use this one right here and we're going to span it across uh, this uh, width so basically this rectangle is going to help us uh, to create uh, the basic uh, um, like to have a basic reference point for the chat. So we're going to simply lock it for the time being. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to add a very first rectangle right here. We're going to round it up uh, pretty much uh, all the way when it comes to this first uh, segment. We're going to use uh, one of the color palettes which uh, we previously created for this uh, very design system. Now let's also copy and paste uh, a text element from here. And uh, let's just like this, yep. So we're going to write uh, just a basic message. So hello, how are you? And let's just drag it and drop it over here. We're going to use uh, a white color for the specific message. And here we go. Now, another thing that we want uh, to uh, consider is to make this uh, a auto layout. So shift plus A and boom, it uh, automatically became uh, a auto layout element, as you can see here from these two rectangles next to the frame name. And what this does is that uh, the moment we start adding more text uh, is uh, you can see that it's going to be expandable and we don't, uh, we don't really need to kind of like uh, uh, add, more, um, add more padding uh, over here manually. So like dragging the rectangle up and down. So yeah, just something to keep in mind, pretty useful. And uh, we're also going to, uh, to have uh, <clears throat> a reply uh, section which is going to be in this one right here so let's just uh, left align it and uh, let's write something i am feeling very good today thanks and then how about you and uh, this is pretty much like uh, the basic uh, for the reply template. So we're going to have a different color for these ones. And uh, we're going to leverage maybe like dark black, something around these lines would uh, work uh, pretty well. And uh, I put it right line because I prefer it. Also go like this. Um, actually, let's just keep it right line since it's just going to be easier to um, just to read uh, if you have like big uh, box of text. So just something to keep in mind uh, for legibility purposes. Now, another thing I we want to add uh, here in this uh, mix is uh, basically some sort uh, of uh, an element which gives us uh, a clue of uh, who is actually um, like replying. So I'm going to add uh, a rectangle is going to be below or actually let's uh, just uh, um, let's just keep it like this for now I'm going to keep it simple and then we can always make it a little bit more complicated along the way so another thing that we definitely want to add uh, is uh, a section which gives us uh, a clue as to when uh, that uh, message was uh, um, was basically delivered or seen, stuff like that. So I'm going to bring uh, this uh, text right here. 
I'm going to write uh, um, maybe like 06:42 a.m. That's left line. This one as well, and this is going to be our our timestamp. So all right, now we're starting to have all of the elements, and uh, it's going to be easier to maybe let's just make this one um, smaller. So I'm going to unlock it again, and I'm going to bring. Uh, this guy on the right now why is this whole thing not moving because i was i was selecting the auto layout so <laughs> keep that in mind i'm going to leave these things uh, unedited simply because i want to show you that hey sometimes like you have to figure out things along the way this <laughs> is part of the designer's job at the end of the day so yeah that's uh, Right, like this, and uh, we're also going to have uh, another section which uh, is going to be a kind of like a, a divider section in between uh, the the messages. So let's go ahead and let's uh, just uh, add it over here. I'm going to make this one. Of a gray color, and let's uh, center this guy. Maybe let's make it 0 0.5. All right, and uh, we're also going to group it all together so that uh, basically, once we have uh, like a separation of uh, like a day, so maybe this was yesterday, this was today. We actually have some sort of like visual reference to to understand uh, where is the um, where is the first day and the second day. Let's make it even lighter. Something like that uh, could work well. We're going to put all of this together in variants in just a moment. But before we do that, I'm going to simply copy and paste this rectangle. Bring it right here make it smaller and I'm going to add uh, probably a stroke so that this is going to give us uh, all the elements uh, which are which we need uh, in order to um, create uh, this basic um, basic element which is going to enable us to add uh, any amount of text or visuals that we need so all right it's the first one now let's add some text right here let's bring it down and uh, let's write here type your answer or even just type here. All right, probably going to change the colors here. We're also going to add a emoji icon. Mm -hmm. Yep, this one will do. All right, so far so good. So basically another thing that we're going to do is we're going to select all of these elements uh, and we're pretty much uh, going to make this all gray. Let's uh, just make it a little bit darker. Let's bring it on the right. And uh, here we go. Let's group it all together. We're going to be good to go to start adding these elements uh, under the different uh, variants. So let's go ahead and let's uh, create uh, our very first uh, variant out of these. So this one's going to be called uh, chat. And uh, let's create a component. 
let's create a variant and let's bring uh, this variant right here now we're also going to make this one into chat light this one's going to be um, well I mean we're, we're going to change it anyway so let's just bring it right here so we have our second variant basically what I did here is I created a component out of this since otherwise I couldn't um, make it to a variant so we're gonna do the same also for this timestamp let's copy and paste it right here and also for this uh, text element or let's create it let's rename it enter text all right so basically we have all, all of our elements right here under the chat ui variant compo uh, components and we're pretty much set and good to go so let's bring uh, this one here on the right and uh, let's uh, just change the type of each of uh, and every one of these so chat bubble blue this one's going to be chat bubble light this one's going to be timestamp we don't necessarily need the type here but I'm going to add them just because it's easier and this one is going to be the uh, enter text all right so basically what we did here is we added like different type of properties so that we can see them here under a drop down and uh, if i go under the assets panel click on close and uh, I go under the um, UI components and I, dro I drop in one of these chat elements. You can see that all the chat elements are going to be available here and uh, we're going to be pretty much uh, good to go. So, all right, this is pretty much it for this video. I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in these type of videos and tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.